Uh, you know, again, really good to always, always good to win on your home floor, but uh, exceptionally good to win on your home floor when you have these two um, great people sitting next to me. Uh, we always want to send our seniors off uh, on a high note, um, and it was a gritty game for us. You know, again, got down as many as 15, um, but they showed resolved and uh, played together, and we found a way to get it done. Yeah, first of all, Coach, again, another situation where it just felt like a tale of two halves and everything. What adjustments or what was different about the second half? Uh, I think we, we played a little bit harder, and I think we dialed in and just were a little bit more disciplined. I don't think um, I don't think we really made that many adjustments. I think that we just locked in on what we were supposed to be doing in the first half and, and made sure we got it done. And Kirsten, obviously the last, <laughs> last game on this home court, did, how, did that sink in now? Or at what point did that sink in? Uh... It still hasn't, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm still, like, got a lot of adrenaline running through my body right now. But I'm just super grateful, you know, for the opportunity. And a lot of people don't get to, like, play, like, a full four years of basketball, full five years of basketball. And I'm just super grateful that I was able to do that and be healthy in that as well. And then just for, for both of y'all senior athletes, yeah, like how much, <laughs> knowing that it's your last game, like how much, you're, you look at the clock, you're at the scoreboard, you're down 15 at one point. How much motivation was it? Like, hey, this is our last game on this court. Uh, I think just it it wasn't even motivation. I just kind of always had this um, unwavering, unwavering belief in us that we were always just going to get it done. So I, when I looked at the score and we were down, it, it wasn't too much of an obstacle for me because I, I know what talent and what effort this team brings, um, especially in the second half. We were just very resilient. I mean, we just stayed the course. We put our head down and worked that whole third quarter. I mean, I don't know how much we won that quarter by, but we were down coming in. So, like, to, to be that close, like, when, that, when we were going into the fourth was really big for us, and I feel like we just showed resolve. Like, we all know what we come to do, and we wanted to sweep GCU. That's what we did. You talked about that third quarter, and in the stats, you guys had a 29-point third quarter. They only scored 15, and you guys – were 78.6% from the floor. So I know Coach said you guys didn't make a lot of halftime adjustments, but what did you guys see in that third quarter that just turned the Jets on? I mean, we, we, we've we needed our third quarter to be better. Like, it's been an adjustment for us since the beginning of the season. I just feel like we just came out with, like, a, with a energy. Like, we, we want to win, and you never want to lose, especially to a good team like GCU. They're a really great, great talented team. I feel like we just had, like, a lot of juice to us. Like, we wanted to get the job done, and we did. Yeah, I think just being able to execute on both ends for us was, was big. And the fact that we were able to pull through, especially against, like Kristen said, a gritty team like GCU, that was our, our main focus is just to outwork them and outplay them. And Mel, this is your first season at SFA, and you were able to play early in the season because of an injury. But I feel like you are somebody that the crowd has come to love, like very quickly. <laughs> Even when you were on the sidelines, I was always very excited to see Coach Mel in action. It was so much fun. So talk about what it means just to be here, even if it is for the one year, but what it means to wear the purple and white. It meant everything for me, for sure. I think the support of the sawmill, the fans, the boosters, everyone is is literally second to none. It's something that I've never experienced before. And just like the the love that I get from this community has been something that I've I've never experienced and I'm I'm very glad to be a part of. Okay, coach, we hit the road for our final two regular season games. You'll be playing at Utah Tech and at Southern Utah next week. What do you guys expect from this final road trip? Uh, you know, again, I, I expect us to have a good week of practice. I expect us to understand that we're still not done. Uh, we still got regular season games to, to finish out. Uh, and again, we need to finish this regular season out on a high note so that we can head into, into Vegas uh, on the right, you know, right temper or right tone. Um, but also, you know, again, we need to close the chapter and finish strong. So again, uh, definitely have a good week of practice and then go up there and play Southern Utah and then uh, Utah Tech and then get ready for Vegas. Well, thank you to our seniors for all the work you guys have put in from all of us in Jack Nation. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you, guys. Couldn't, couldn't be prouder of these two. Love them to death. Add some Jacks. Oh, <laughs>